bringing creativity back into agriculture. This idea of art and agriculture. Agriculture is a kind of a microcosm. It's so important. It's the bedrock of every human society. In Ireland, there's only about 120,000 odd farmers and we're producing 37% of Irish emissions, which is massive. And that can be changed quite easily. We don't need to be farming in a way that's so resource intensive. Field Exchange is a hopeful project. The core platform endeavours to bring people together in a hopeful, generous setting, supporting people to uh, produce meaningful change, basically. A sort of a rethinking of agriculture, a rethinking of the agricultural system. I'd like to welcome all our guests, friends, neighbours, collaborators. It is just a delight to have you here today. We came together on this idea of, of the exchange table where farmers would meet artists, would meet experts, would meet members of the general public. And we need to think outside the box. That's my message, really. If it's about community, it's about knowledge, it's about things that we don't even yet imagine. It was an intense collaboration at the conceptual phase. I'm a fellow traveller. When people see how it can be done, the different kind of farming that can happen, and it will make farming so exciting that a lot of people that will be willing to diversify. There are four different crops. These four crops, framed by the potato ridges, model a kind of farming that's thinking about the future as well as reflecting on the past. This is model plot. So as you can see, we have two distinct kinds of crops growing here. One is the potato. This is the phacelia. It's so gorgeous. The bees absolutely love it. Well, corn work is about, fundamentally about production. You know, corn work centres on this idea of the individual is subsumed into a sort of a collective in that work. They are sort of like, you could think of it as cogs in a wheel, in a, in a productive system. This wheel keeps turning, a little bit as the, um, the wheels of agricultural production are ceaselessly turning. Somewhere along the way, I think we must have lost it. that deep connection with our landscape and wanting to mind the landscape. There's a real energy around wanting to find out more about that. Today was great. The idea was to have a bit of crack and a bit of banter and, you know, a bit of laughter because that keeps the energy up like. I mean, there's all kinds of people here today. It really is. And um, yeah, the buzz is great. Everybody just wants to be here, wants to learn, wants to help. And it, it comes together so beautifully, it just keeps you going. Like, we're all wrecked, but who cares? <laughs> One stone at a time. It's very satisfying for the group to, to have achieved it, because that's, that's one of the other things that's nice about building something together. You, you, have, you have something to show for it at the end of the day. To find new ways of attacking this big thing, the climate change. The thing with dry stone in particular, if it's part of a broader system, where it helps to support a more, more environmentally aware community, then it's going to be sustainable. We need to be more connected to the environment. Like I said, I'm farming, so we are contributing major, but we are we're affected by it as well, so we can't be blind to it. We have a common interest as well, I suppose. We're caught up in the same as everybody else is, making a living and paying our bills, but you know, there is other ways to do things, and. You'd hope that there'd be more incentives to do things that are beneficial to both us financially and to the environment and all those kinds of things, but it's marrying the two. Did you ever hear the saying that when you have a hammer, every problem is a nail? I think what she's doing here is opening it up to spanners, mallets, <laughs> not just hammers. <laughs> Farmers and people who manage the land lost the concept of where they got soil fertility from, how you made soil fertile through crop rotations, through understanding the sort of ecological processes and 
it became cheap and easy to make soil fertile, soil fertile just by buying a bag and putting it on the land. So, and our agriculture then developed very much along those lines. And now, with the crises we face, the climate crisis, the oil crisis, all of those are going to come to bear on that whole industry. That's why when I talk about regenerative agriculture, I'm meaning it's looking at the soil again and seeing where will that soil, how do we recreate the skill and the knowledge to bring that soil fertility back by the cropping systems, by the trees, the plants and that we use. My instinct here would be to right, go in, this is lovely soil and it's, uh, it's, it's going to have a good, a good stand of oak and there's cherry and there's other stuff in it. But potentially you could have cattle in here. What I would do first of all is go and start taking out all the, think of a final crop of trees you're going to have here. Uh, valuable trees, mark them, and then go in and start thinning out stuff around them. And then get animals in. Mean, that, that farm I talked to you about, Jane Shackleton's farm in Cavan, where you saw the belted Galloway cows in, they went into stuff like this. And in a couple of years, they cleared that. For me, it wasn't just about producing a beautiful sculptural artwork. It wasn't just about the aesthetic. It was about telling the whole story of how climate change is affecting us and what are the plants that might offer one of the strategies for sustainable um, animal farming in the future. We're here for the final gathering and the harvest feast to mark the end of this remarkable program of exchanges, discussions, and knowledge sharing that took place over the summer. Field Exchange provided a non-pressured, positive space for people to discuss and collaborate on the urgent issues of climate change and biodiversity loss in Irish agriculture. Projects like Field Exchange, which bring together artists and, as described, experts, farmers and the public, who knows what will come out of that and how that can tackle this crisis of the imagination and of culture which climate change points to. Everybody wants to be able to do the right thing and we don't necessarily know what it is. And very often it starts planting with a tree or putting out some wildflower and actually seeing wildlife come back in, nature coming back into your life. We've been asking participants, you know, do the arts and creative community have a role to play in addressing climate change? And we found like the resounding answer to that is yes. We can transform our society, we can, we can make uh, agriculture that is done in a nature uh, that is just uh, and produces diverse food. As a scientist, you want to prove so that something will work. But coming here and countries in the countryside, just they're linked to the past. They're, they're, communities. In other words, there's more to trees than just simply the science. A, a safe, respectful place, feed people really well. We're very lucky it's in a beautiful part of the countryside on Loch Derg. And which has uh, the artwork by Deirdre, which incorporates an awful lot what our ideas were about. So it's it's about looking to the future for, for fixing protein crops. It's about um, an artwork which changes over the seasons. Um, changing their minds as they stood and looked. I, I feel a bit Everybody is so, and everything about this great work you have, and it's so important. And agriculture is a big ship, and big ships are very hard to turn around. Um, and it is the case. 
small steps and individuals to, to start inspiring others. Uh, but these are small steps. Um, and it Art with agriculture has helped participants develop creative sharing knowledge and building consensus, eating local, seasonal and warmth and enabled conversation to flow. I am very sure of conversations can be, but field exchange has created this gentle atmosphere to tackle this conversation through art and creation a lot by doing these projects and I feel a mixture of kind of feeling a bit sad but also very optimistic and our um, we have the privilege of seeing all the projects to me are the most interesting We've got thousands of people pulling together in the community. And I think you just have to remind people of the joy and, and producing food together. It really does. It's an absolute joy.